Welcome to Dangerous Entertainment. Today we will be attempting the bottomless pit on hard difficulty. But first, I will be playing the mercenary, who's the warrior, and I've set him up with uh, increases the amount of experience that he gets, increases his total health <coughs> HP by 30%, and increases his auto attack. Uh, his abilities have got auto attack. Um, this ability allows him to teleport a short distance and any enemies in between are frozen, take away damage. We also increase um, the amount of uh, damage that our traps do and uh, increase the amount of physical damage um, that we deal. And that's how we've set him up. We've set our traps up. Oh, come on, there we go. Fully upgraded the uh, monster cage and we've. Uh, got the blast furnace and we've increased uh, the amount of uh, base damage it does and we've unlocked the uh, ice field and the essence trap and we've just increased uh, the passive ability on that and also the passive ability on the phoenix trap and so I will see you in there fine <sighs> So this is the first very hard map. Uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll build an essence trap and a fully upgrade. That should be enough. Oh, we got to walk. There we go. A fully upgrade uh, werewolf cage or monster cage. And then we'll just position ourselves on this side to uh, straight away start getting as much essence as possible. This is a, it's a bit of a race but to get a hundred essence as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, and if you're playing this map on the marksman or the sorcerer, I do suggest you try to get some very nice bit of pitch people. And then time to get to the other side. And then as soon as we get a hundred essence we'll be upgrading that uh sentry pillar there into a blast furnace. Start to hurt. One more kill. There we go. Our last bonus. Upgrade it so it does an insane amount of damage. And then Q. And then we should be okay. Just start the DPS and these. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our other cooldown to uh, increase everyone's uh, physical amount of physical damage they take to see by 40%. You try to be sneaky getting past me. But yeah, definitely the first wave of this is the hardest. As you can see, the other blast furnace can only do so much work. Let's let a few of these slow coaches by. Okay, just obliterate you guys off the face of the earth. And uh, always try and use these portals where you can. What we're going to do is just going to create a phoenix pillar there. And we're going to skip through these guys. So, fortunately, this uh, armored guy hasn't been touched at all yet. And he will vastly reduce your physical damage that he receives. And they've also quite annoying to um, the aggro as well, but luckily we have managed to aggro him. Ah uh, yeah, <coughs> so I, I know I've, I've um, when this I bought this game in early alpha, so that's why I kind of I know what I'm talking about a bit more than just doing this from level one. So that's that one done. Lovely jubbly. And now what we will be doing is we will be creating an essence trap here and some phoenix pillars. Just so So many traps, so little time. So no nobody can sneak past. The chaos portals are open. And then just in case of see where we've got to position here. I think we're just gonna go help down here. Get a little bit easier. 
as well. They're kind of the only real danger now, uh, in terms of this side, is the, uh, the walking armored guys, because they just take so much reduced damage. What we're gonna do is gonna create a fire trap here. Oh no, not I'm trying to. There we go, fire trap. No, can't afford it. There we go. There we go. We're gonna upgrade the fire trap. Just gotta fail out of it to increase the uh, increase our HP a bit. A bit touch and go, but it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't like that. Just letting at the other side of the map it looks like we have got one unwelcome visitor. I managed to get past my problem with the experts. We'll go deal with him now. Yep, armored guy, thought so. What we're gonna do is actually is it, uh, create a sentry gun there, because sentry guns are very good against uh, armored dudes. Uh, plus that sentry gun should be able to shoot down here. There you go. And deal lots of damage to anyone who walks by. And we're gonna build another sentry gun here as well. Uh, sentry gun is very cheap and very useful, especially on this map where you've got to deal with uh, deal with lots of armored units. But uh, we'll just pop our <coughs> our W ability Keep on two to increase the amount of damage you do. I thought I had to deal with those, but the sentry gun picked them off, lovely. And this guy is very nicely got himself into the essence trap range, so he'll be giving us lots of essence. There you go, 100 essence. Delicious. And now it's just a case of building a sentry gun up here, again, just to deal with these annoying uh, armoured dudes as you can oh. there you go so, oh. oh oh no it's giants they're good against you oh. there you go these there we go spear traps as you can see it's got the armour ability so spear traps are good against uh, the armoured dudes it's these are good against giants which, which are also a bit of a brawler on this map so uh, not a problem and then we will be Upgrading you guys. I'm going to put a ice field trap here just so we get the maximum amount of the kill zone, especially around this particular essence trap. And now it's just a case of uh, ready, steady, go. So the start of wave four. Oh, we're in wave three. So this one should just be a case of doing as much. Uh, Damage as we can. Look at that sentry gun, nailing him. I just never ever stay too far away from pink forces on this map. You never know when you have to just mail out. Just gonna freeze these guys. Looks like. Yeah, it looks like a couple of creatures of course we've got a pass on. Defences, which should be you. So our sentry gun is a bit distracted there. But you just gotta be constantly on the ball and you should be fine. So I'm gonna have to set up some defences here. Ton of damage, you know, anyone who thinks they're hard enough. Just gonna increase the million damage we could do here. Oh no, looks like someone's got a throw. Oh, nearly did. Nearly, nearly let one through then. Right then, what if we go in here then? There's some armor beads to deal with. That's fine. Their heads in. There we go. And that boss isn't particularly 
hard to worry about. So let's disintegrate all these guys, upgrade our blast furnace, and it's doing insane amount of damage. But I do think this is probably the best mercenary setup. I'm currently level 8 at the moment. Uh, I did try to do this on level 7, and it was, I mean, it's not been uh, I'm not shocked enough at all. Uh, especially for that first wave, where you do have to take quite a lot of damage on the chin. I've since you've got um, some armor, um, so a, a new necklace that decreases physical damage by 100, um, like plus 100 to decrease physical damage, so that was rather useful. So this one, what I'm going to do is just going to upgrade because it's this side here where the kind of legendary boss comes. So you just want to try and get as much damage along this side as possible. So, like so. Caps, so little time. there we go. And uh, the f at the start of this uh, this particular wave, there will be a sub boss and a defender coming down this end so that's definitely needs to be your priority the chaos portals are bursting with creatures as you can see there he is and uh, if we can get enough essence we might be able to build a flame trap there just uh, just so they can sit on it yeah there we go flame trap there and then we'll oh. Oh, no, we did manage to get aggro. And now we can just, uh, that flame trap is in range 100% damage, and plus with my uh, abilities. Uh, it, the mercenary is so much kind of nice, especially for this particular map, because you don't have to kite at all. But my guess is, you are watching this, you might have to do a lot of kiting, and unfortunately, you're just going to have to get your character a few levels higher. Uh, especially if you want to complete these without uh, receiving um, any damage to your gate because uh, it just has such an advantage that you can tank uh, all of these minions and tank them on top of traps which synergizes great with the, the fact that you can increase the amount of damage uh, to traps but uh, definitely not impossible with the Iron Sorcerer or uh, Marksman, which I will be doing soon, but I won't be recording there as I'm just trying to vary the uh, different characters that I'm using in my uh, videos. So this wave can be a bit of a problem. Basically, you've just got about five or six armor boots to deal with. Uh, while uh, having a defender, and obviously that sub boss there as well. Uh, but just in case of trying to kill as many as possible, we'll just create another sentry on there just to help us out. Yes. And then that defender that you see in the other lane, you want to try you want to kill him before you deal with the boss, which will be destroyed very soon. Just gonna use our W bullet to There we go, there's the boss. But make sure you def deal with that defender hazards because your turrets are gonna be a little bit hard push to kill him, even though it looks like our two sentry guns that we built earlier really damaged him quite a lot. Uh, so this boss Uh, so this boss, especially if you're not a mercenary, is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. So, what he'll do is, as you can see there, he'll freeze your traps. That second ability there does a hell of a lot of damage, especially if you're a squishy. And he'll also place a wall behind. You won't see that because I'm attacking him so close. But that's uh, ability there, which just does an ice uh, cone effect on you can do a hell of a lot of damage, but this is definitely the advantage of playing the marksman on this particular map, because you 
just have a massive HP pool. My offense, my weapon, gives me plus 15 HP back, which isn't anything really, especially when I'm getting hit by 400 at a time, but the main thing is to have a nice big HP pool. And then when you pop your, uh, when you pop your, your potions, you just easy peasy get yourself up uh, from 60% of the HP back. I can't actually say the exact stats, but it's definitely more increased HP you've got the better. But that was um, <coughs> the bottomless pit on hard difficulty. Once I've uh, smashed this guy, I think I don't think they should call it the bottomless pit. They should call it the pit of corpses now. But I hope that video helps you out. Oh, rocket it up to level nine. Uh, yeah. So if you're playing the Sorcerer of Marksman, you're probably going to have to get up to level ten with quite a decent HP ball because uh, that boss there, that ice conal effect. Um, do not underestimate it. I know it didn't look like it did anything. Ooh, two yellows. Didn't look. Didn't look like it did anything to me, but it will hit you very, very hard. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment below, and you've been dangerously entertained.